Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert currency on PayPal so from dollars to euros or euros to British pounds or whatever they have like 20 30 different currencies that they offer um, okay here's the article that I just wrote so uh, reason why you need may need to convert currency maybe you need to pay someone and you have dollars but you need to pay them in euros or uh, you, you want to withdraw money from your PayPal account to your bank bank account but you need it to be in a certain currency right so you need to convert into that currency to be able to withdraw uh, maybe because of currency fluctuations you know the dollar got strong all of a sudden and um, you want to sell and get you know traded converted into euros and then wait for the dollar to drop again whatever it may be here's how you do it okay one more thing the fees so PayPal actually has the higher fees on conversion there's an article here you can read the more detailed explanation I wrote it a while ago um, where I compared PayPal and Pioneer's uh, currency conversion fees and the whole process and I also included WISE or TransferWISE in the end uh, basically Pioneer and TransferWISE have a fee but it's very very tiny very tiny PayPal doesn't have a fee technically but they give you a bad conversion rate so their fee so in the end you lose more money converting between currencies on PayPal than you do on the others right because they give you a very bad conversion rate, right? So they're, they're you know, sneaky like that. That's PayPal for you. Uh, anyway, so to do a currency conversion, I'm going to go to my PayPal now and show you live. But so you log into your account then you click on PayPal balance where it says PayPal balance. So you can click on these three dots here and then a menu is going to expand and there's going to be a PayPal balance menu. Uh, so this is and, and uh, well, anyway, you can you can click the link in the description of this video where you can come to this article and check out the screenshots if you want but let me just show you so I'm going to my PayPal now here we are right <clears throat> I'm logged in already now PayPal balance you can click here or you can expand the three dots and click go to PayPal balance so I click PayPal balance and now here we are now I have dollars and euros that's all I have in my account so if so I need to choose which currency I want to convert from let's say I want to convert from dollars into euros or whatever so I click here the three dots next to dollars and I click convert currency now convert US dollars to I can choose any of these you see they have I don't know 20 how many uh, all the big ones anyway convert USD to so let's say we select euros and then we click next conversion amount now we put 10 and we click and it gives converts to approximately nine dollars and twenty euro but actually all right let's let's do a hundred just to, 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 so you can get it about the fees converts to approximately nine, 92 euros uh, actually at the moment it, it should convert to 96 euros because right now one dollar is about 96 euros uh, cents right so a hundred dollars should convert to 96 um, euros but so and, and on PayPal on, on Pioneer and on TransferWise they would give you 96 minus like 20 30 50 cents on the fee right PayPal won't charge you a fee but because of the bad conversion rate you'll get 92 so technically they do have a fee and higher fee than everybody else right so keep that in mind anyway let's make it 10 again and then we click next and here we are we review to review the so we have the amount we can edit it we're transferring from US dollars transferring into euros the amount and the amount we're gonna get nine dollars and twenty euro converted from ten dollars conversion rate one USD ninety zero point ninety ninety two cents in the of the euro that's a bad conversion rate that is not the current market rate for this conversion but anyway that's PayPal for you this rate includes PayPal's currency conversion fee oh okay I didn't see this uh-huh they actually put it but they don't tell you what they mean by the fee they just cut you on the conversion rate anyway you click convert now and you're done the conversion happens instantly um, and that's pretty much it guys um, so I told you about the fees I showed you how to do it you know in the end if you can use wise or pioneer you'll be much better off you'll pay smaller fees on um, on receiving money withdrawing money sending money converting between currencies they're just better right you get to keep more of your own money right so if you can uh, if you use PayPal you don't have to stop using PayPal but you can also start using pioneer transferwise I don't know probably Revolut 
uh, pretty much anything is probably better than PayPal if you actually, you know, look at the details of exactly how much you lose on this, how many fee, how much fees you pay on that, you pay on that. If you look at all those details, you'll reach the conclusion that PayPal gives you the worst, um, the worst, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the 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 worst experience. You know how to how to say, you know, you lose most on PayPal uh, due to fees, right? So anyway, guys, that's it for the article. I hope you learned something today. I hope you liked it. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to come here and check out this article, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. You can check out some of the other stuff on my website if you want. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to say something, you can leave a comment below this video or come here and leave a comment below my, on my article. Uh, I'll reply either way. Okay, guys, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.